Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. So, I just want to give you a late night update. Yes, a couple of cricket stories to touch on in this one. Now, Sri Lanka and England, they actually got their test series started earlier today. And it was an interesting day, my people. Very, very interesting. You know, Sri Lanka losing five wickets before they even got um, to 100. And somehow, they were able to hold off England and muster 236. So, going to go through that um, scorecard there. Plus, we're going to talk a little bit about Jaden Seals and a couple of other um, bowlers. Jaden Seals actually moved up the rankings, yes. And he's pretty close to breaking into that top 10. So, going to talk on that a little bit. So, let's give a listening ear and let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right, let's start off with the first of three tests between England and Sri Lanka. No, it was Sri Lanka that won the toss and decided that they were going to have a bat. They lost a couple of early wickets, my people. Early, early wickets. You understand, as a matter of fact, at one point they were actually 92 for 6. Yes, 92 for 6. And, you know, fortunately for them, they were able to put together a couple of partnerships and get them, you know, a respectable total. So um, they were bowled out for 236 in 74 overs. At the close of day one, England uh, batting, they finished on 22 without loss, having faced um, four overs. Um, so they are trailing by 214. Now batting for Sri Lanka, my people, the batting really started in the middle and the lower order. Captain Dananjaya's um, Da Silva, he made 74 from 84 with eight fours. You know, he was supported by Milan um, Rathnaik. He got 72 from 135 deliveries. He had um, six fours and two sixes to his name. So 236. Now, bowling for um, England, Chris Wokes, he bowled 11 overs, picked up three for 32. Um, Gus Atkinson, two for 48 from 16 overs. And Bashir, the spinner, he picked up 3 for 55 from his 23 overs. The speedster, Mark Wood, he was only able to chip in with 1 for 31 from his 8 overs. Now, in terms of how they lost the wickets, my people, um, let me give you this. Because Sri Lanka really, um, you know, sort of made a comeback. It was 61 for 1. Then 60, uh, well, 61. <laughs> it was 6 for 1. Um, 6 for 2. 6 for 3. You're listening to that? 6 for 1, 6 for 2, 6 for 3, <laughs> um, 40 for 4, um, 72 for 5, 92 for 6. From 92 for 6, they took it all the way up to 113 for 7. Then from 113 for 7, they took it to 176 for 8. Then 226 for 9. And all the way up to 236 all out. You know, a couple of guys at the top that were expected to chip in with runs, they were unable to do so. You understand, um, Karat Naratne, he, he scored only two. Um, Kusal Mendes got 24. Angela Matthews, the senior campaigner, made only... Well, he didn't make anything. He actually um, faced five deliveries before he was dismissed. Dinesh Chandimal made 17. And, you know, a couple other guys got starts. But that is basically how it went. As I said, England, they are there. Um, ben Duckett and Dan Lawrence opening. Um, 13 for Duckett, not out, and 9 for Lawrence. Um, Dan and Jaya, Da Silva, and um, um, Jai Surya, they, they actually have two overs each. So that is how the first day went in this um, first test between Sri Lanka and England. All right, um, time for us to switch over to our West Indians, right? Or our, our, our West Indies team, you know, our West Indian players. Let us see what I have here. So, Jaden sees my viewers and subscribers. He actually moved up in the rankings. A couple of guys moved up, but Jaden Seals, he was the biggest mover. You understand? Um, he actually moved 13 places up and he's now ranked at number 13. Yes, so you know, good to see that, my people. Uh when he when he when he when he um 
I think it was prior to the England series, he was saying that, listen, his aim is to see if he can um, break into the top 10, into the top 3, and he would love to become the number one ranked test bowler. So, you know, he's well on his way. The only problem is, you know, um, West Indies, we don't play a lot of, of test cricket. So, after, the, after playing these games against South Africa, he will have to sit for a while, hope he's still fit while playing, you know, um, T20 and ODIs. Um, hope he's still fit when the time comes around to play Bangladesh because, you know, tough. Um, as I said, 13 spots, he moved up. Um, you know, so that, that was actually good. We saw Shamar Joseph also moving up. Gudikish Moti also moving up. Um, let me just give you, give you real quick where we are. Um, so the first, the highest rank bowler right now is Jaden Seals. Uh, you, it, it was um, Kima Roach and, Az, and Jason Ola and Azari Joseph. But, you know, Jaden Seals is now our highest rank bowler at number 13. Uh, moving up 13, 13 spots. After Jaden Seals, we still have Kima Roach. Moved one spot down to 18. And, you know, after that, you would have to go all the way down to Jason Holder, who is ranked at 39. Then Azari Joseph, our vice captain, he's ranked at 32. You know, and then Kyle Mears, who seems to be out of favor, he is the next best rank at 38. Um, the good thing is we have a couple of um, youngsters coming in and it seems as if they are on the upward movement. You understand? J um, Shamar Joseph, for example, we're hoping that soon and very soon <laughs> we will be seeing Isaiah Thorne and a couple of others. You understand that after Kyle Mears, you have to go down to Shannon Gabriel, who hasn't played in a while at 45. Let me just go down. Jamel Warrican, he actually moved two spots up. He's now ranked at number uh, 52. After him, you have J uh, Shamar Joseph, who moved um, 11 spots up to 54. So Shamar Joseph is 54, and we have um, Jamel Warrican at 52. So that is how it's um that's how it's looking for us, my people. You know, then we have Rustin Chase at 60 and Goodikish Moti is there moving two spaces up at 24. But that is what we have, my viewers and subscribers. You understand when we perform certain ways, you know, it's gonna reflect in the um in how they do the rankings. But yeah, just wanted to give you that quick update here. Just make sure that you're all tuned in tomorrow, bright and early. I will be giving you my plane 11 for the first T20 game against South Africa this Friday. Thanks again for all the support. Big up on yourself and stay safe. One love.